Howdy folks, Plain County Survivor Man here with a little uh, explanation or tip about some plants that we've got here in the forest of Virginia. Take a look at these things right here. Now, if you take a look at these flowers, they just put everybody in the mind of dandelions, which they're actually not dandelions. This particular plant is called Colt's Foot. This plant in the summertime will grow a wide leaf out of that little stem right there that I just plucked off will grow a wide leaf wider than my hand. And the reason they call this Colt's Foot, or that was the Indian name for it, is because this leaf is shaped like a Colt's Foot. This plant the Indians used to make salt when they couldn't find any salt anywhere else. They would take the wide leaves of this plant and they would uh, dry them in the sun by the gigantic piles of them. Then they would put them in a place and set them on fire and burn them up. When they were done, the ashes would be ground down to a fine powder. And that is a very saline uh, plant after it's burned down. So that, that's how they would make their seasoning of one type when they didn't have any salt. Now let's move right over here to this other little plant right here. Now this is actually a dandelion. It doesn't have the flower with it yet, but that's a dandelion. Now dandelions are salad. As a matter of fact, a very good salad. In this time of the year, they don't have any milk in them, and it makes them uh, a very delicious plant to eat on the table, eat in the forest if you're out. And another thing, that they're good for is they're a gout remedy and that's a, a spur that gets on your toe or your ankle or your foot caused by too much uh, I think uric acid so that's one thing you can use this plant for besides eating it Let's find one more plant while we're here, folks. Since we're doing this little plant show here on the side of the road while we're doing a little bicycling. I don't know if any of you young folks recognize this plant right here. But this plant's called mullen. It's a very, uh, has a very soft leaf to it, almost like lamb skin. You can rub it on your face and it's real soft. This plant is, is a plant that the old folks used as a remedy in poultices. They would take this plant and they would grind it up and they would use it, they would use it in a poultice like on boils and corns and uh, things such as that. But that's what that plant is. And in the summertime it has a big tall stem on it and it's got little yellow flowers that come out of it and it's like sort of round at the top. But that's what that plant is. That's mullen. I do want to I do want to tell you this one thing. If you do not know what a plant is, do not touch it. Do not rub it on your skin. Do not eat it because there's some plants out here in the forest that will kill you in 30 minutes or less. Dandelions in full bloom. Definitely good for gout. Another thing you can do with the dandelion is you can dig up the root and you can boil that root and make dandelion coffee. Dandelion coffee is definitely good for a migraine headache. So the next time you have a migraine headache, go out and dig you up a dandelion. Just make sure that no dogs is urinated on your dandelion because they taste a little salty when you eat them. But do who? Here's how you do it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, That is very good. Try it, do who? You'll like it. Have a nice day.